Not every ballot has been counted just yet. Far from it to the frustrations of many of these campaigns tonight. As we have been reporting throughout our coverage, Clackamas County still has a long way to go as they continue to count the votes by hand here. And our Catherine Cook has been there following the progress where they have stopped for the time being. Catherine? Laurel, the last official number of the night for ballots counted, votes counted, that is, is 10,356. And if that sounds extremely low, it is. The reason, of course, is the issue with about two thirds of those ballots, which will all need to be duplicated and counted by hand. Now, just about five minutes ago, Oregon Secretary of State Shamia Fagan issued this scathing criticism of the issue, saying, quote, as Oregon's chief election officer and a Clackamas County voter, I am deeply concerned about the delay in reporting from Clackamas County elections tonight. While I am confident that the process they are following is secure, transparent, and the results will be accurate, the county's reporting delays tonight are unacceptable. Voters have done their jobs, and now it's time for Clackamas County elections to do theirs. Let's take a look. There we go. Thank you. In Clackamas County, small victories with each ballot cast, knowing it'll take a while to show how everyone here actually voted. Our top priority is to get this election done very accurately and on time. And accuracy is way more important than speed. County Clerk Sherry Hall is referring to the unexpected issue with about two-thirds of the ballots. There was a printing issue with the barcodes. They were either too light or blurry, so elections machines rejected them. Enter the two-person bipartisan teams of volunteers who are duplicating the faulty ballots to make them count. Voters know about the issue and have mixed feelings. I have trust and faith in them that they're going to do the right thing. That's a big worry for me, considering what happened at the last election. By 8 p.m. election night, Clackamas County had only counted around 10,000 votes. As for ballots turned in, the number stood at around 81,000. Plus, the ballots in all of these bins collected Tuesday night. Hall says she has no idea how long it will take to count all of them. We are doing it by the book, and anyone that wants to can come in and watch it. Many did, like Suzanne Westfall. She spent hours watching volunteers from the observation room. If they're having, like, uh, people from multiple parties observing, then I'm good with it. So is Secretary of State Shamia Fagan, who stopped by earlier. She said... After consulting with Clackamas County to help them set up their process, it was reassuring to watch it in action. We are confident they will report accurate results. Back live in Oregon City, volunteers here will spend the majority of the evening counting and validating signatures on those ballots that came in tonight. Tomorrow morning, they'll be back here at 8 a.m. to begin officially counting them. But again, the county clerk says she has no idea how long that process will take. Back to you. And I'm sure we will be watching in the days ahead. Catherine Cook, thank you for your frontline reporting on this tonight.